Okay. So I bought some red dye to change the color of a a bottle of flesh colored resin that was sent to be by mistake and I got to keep it. Like the color is really weird looking and I don't think I'm gonna use it at all. So I thought, hey, let me try to dye it. But before I did that, you know, I had some, some gray resin still left in the vat. So I thought, let me just try it with this small amount that's in the vat before I change over to the flesh. And it didn't work. Like, you see how I paused? Like, the crystals are like one millimeter big. And uh, the print layers are like 0 0.05 millimeter. So it wouldn't work. And it wasn't dissolving, so... I cleaned it all out and then I cleaned it and I just um, I went ahead with the video and in the end I did some cool spray paint tricks that you're gonna see but yeah I thought I, let's go. since the dye didn't work and I don't have a black resin people have been asking me about this Mugen shift knob in black obviously I should have just bought black resin but for the sake of finishing this video on a high note, I made the Mugen knob in this flesh resin and I'm gonna spray paint it black to see how well it holds up. You know? So, time to clean it up. Look how nice it came out. This has been um, draining since last night. And it actually dr drained quite a bit because um, I put it really close to the to the um, to the pool or whatever, and this morning it was actually touching the, the the top of the knob. So that means what drained off was enough to raise the pool level. Weird, huh? Anyways. Here is the resin shift knob painted. Um, the way I painted this one was during the curing process. So once I washed off like the excess resin in the alcohol bath and all that, and I I wiped it good, uh, make sure it wasn't um, like didn't have any alcohol on it or water on it still. Then I spray painted it while it was curing, so I put it out in the sun to cure and immediately hit it with the first coat of satin black spray paint. I didn't know if that would make it hold better or not at the moment, but you know, we were experimenting. And so five minutes, I wanted the first coat of paint to still be wet and I applied the second coat of the the satin black these are all light coats and then five more minutes the third coat and then five minutes after that i hit it with satin clear and i just let it dry and um this is the result and i feel like this came out very good because if you look here I mean, I, let me see. If you look there, so you see the flesh resin underneath, but uh, you probably can't see this that well on camera. But you see how the paint, it looks to, um, it looks like it actually absorbed into the plastic because it, it penetrates. There's like black paint particles that penetrate deeper beneath the surface of the of the plastic. So I feel like painting it during the curing made it grab more. And I actually accidentally ended up testing this because um, I, I dropped this and there's a nick on it. But the paint stayed intact. So 
Um, where's the nick? There it is, right? I mean, it's black, so you can't see it. But there's a nick right here. Which sucks, but I mean, you can hardly see it. And, oh, there you go, right there. Right there, you can see it. Right there. Um, I, I kind of debate, like, satin black, gloss black, you know. I do like the, the shiny gloss black, but... Um, I feel like gloss black is really hard to, to get right, whereas this satin black, it lays down evenly and it doesn't really run as easily as the gloss. Or I mean, the, the satin clear or whatever. I can hit this with a gloss clear and it'll make it glossy. But um, some parts look more shinier than the other. So here's the my gray resin one I've been using. They came out pretty much the same. And the uh, gloss black that spray painted. I do wonder if there would be a difference with painting them. Because I've painted some of these gray resin ones. And sometimes the paint doesn't really hold that well. I do wonder if painting it while it was curing really made that much of a difference. You know? Um, oddly enough, this one does feel heavier at first than this flesh colored resin. I wondered if there was a difference. So I brought out my scale and they weigh the same, so I don't know what's going on there. But I mean, yeah, that black looks really nice. The, um, the, the dye, the red dye obviously didn't work, work out. But this spray painting process, you know, it actually, everything turned out for the better. Like I figured out how to spray paint resin thing so that the spray paint really holds well. Um, like I've, I've threaded this onto my car a couple times and like the paint hasn't budged or anything. Um, and I, I never thought I would like the, the black, but I mean, I, once I put on my shifter, it's like, yeah, you know, that looks cool. And comparing this to the, the gray resin, the spray painted black one looks more like a finished product. Like this gray one looks looks like raw material and this one looks finished. I do wonder if I were to make it in a black resin, would it have the same effect or would it look still raw? Or is it actually the spray paint that makes a difference, you know? Who knows? But anyways, that's this video which was supposed to be the dye resin is now the spray painting but look how cool this is um i'm still gonna keep using this one so i guess this one is now for sale the black one it's uh, a one-off so hit me up if you want it you know there is a nick um where, where is right there but like i said you can't hardly see it Anyways, thanks for watching. I think this was a pretty neat video.